in communities together and keeping them going. Of course, let's get into Grand Finals here. Game one, Tony Pajamas versus Epic Kalito. Of course, Kalito on the winner side and Tony Pajamas on the loser. So that means Tony's got to get the reset. Mm -hmm. And uh, Grand Finals, unlike all the previous sets we've seen, is uh, best of five, if I call correctly. It's a little bit different. More games to uh, adapt. Oh, yeah, whoa, 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 are we uh, low key huh? button checking for lag, or are we checking for neutral here? I think there's a little bit of a. I think that might be the situation here. I think they're kind of checking something. Let's go ahead and look at the chat here. I haven't spoken anything, but it looks like they're kind of like just doing a small light hand warmer here. Okay. Kind of waiting for their responses at this point. Oh, yeah. yes, there's delay. Let's see. I don't know. Yeah, I think they're experiencing some minor delay. I think that's what it is. Sometimes you get lag, sometimes you get no lag, sometimes you're trying to do a button check and your opponent hits you, you're not too sure. Nonetheless, good on both of them to just kind of gentleman it through and then opt for a restart here. Okay, hopefully this uh, match is playable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or nothing where they have to restart. We'll see how things go. Hopefully for real this time. Three, two, one, go! Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm curious. I'm curious when how this match is going to go. I think Ness has a pretty good advantage, honestly. Great aerials, edge guarding capabilities. Like, a lot of ways to play around the Gordo. And then Didi just being like, such a huge body, Ness can just combo him for such a long time. I think, yeah, I think the one thing King Didi kind of has locked out is, I wouldn't say the air, but it uh, makes Tony have to evaluate like what kind of aerial I'm going for at what opportunity. Or how long I'm off the stage because if he goes, if the hit is late on the Gordo, that'll hit Tony. If it's early, that's fine and hit the Gordo back. So that's kind of one thing that Tony has to recognize there is how late are you doing your aerials, but also how far are you off the stage. That's a back air and the no stage tech coming up from Kalito here. Tony takes stock one 105. Yeah, I mean, I, even though he could have lived that with the tech, I just like the way that Tony set up that uh, situation with the air dodge call out. Oh my god, with that. <laughs> <laughs> for an air so well placed he did, he did the gordo spe the gordo specifically to like make tony feel like he needed to recover in that exact spot yeah that's so good oh taking a lot of damage off stage though he's gonna do the fb yeah the ground, but tony sees through it doesn't let him get away with that oh ddd DV cannot uh, get past the yo yo? No. And unfortunately, like, the hitbox for LB is only on the starting frames, not on the entire, like, penguin, I would say. So it's really rough for him here. Of course, double up air as soon as Tony oh Pajamas goodness. takes his man across the 16. skies. Ooh, that was good. That good was good. Idea, yeah, yeah. But Tony saw it. So he didn't just immediately fast fall into <laughs> the dash attack. And our scary for Kalito. Yeah, he definitely needs this stocks very soon. Even though he's a heavy, he just can't afford to keep taking so much damage. No, not at all. Alright. Gonna go low again. Kalito trying for that deep forward air for a second time, but yeah, he wasn't able to find it. And he's gonna get back thrown. 
off the stage. Easy, easy two stock. Good stuff, good stuff for Tony. Starting out really strong in the grand finals. Yeah, honestly, I just think the things that Dean has mainly is like really good edge guarding tools against Ness. And if he can get the Gordos to work well at the ledge, he can get some good punches there. But as far as neutral, really, really hard. <laughs> Yeah, really hard indeed, and you can kind of tell that's where Tony's pretty much accelerating. His deity's neutral, it's kind of just limited to Gordos at that point, and Ness has a lot of tools to just not really worry about Gordos. Yeah, he's like so many different things he has to deal with Gordo. He has like the side magnet hitbox, he's like aerials, he has a projectile of his own. Yeah. And it's not like he has to change up his playstyle too heavily, really. It's like the... General playstyle of Ness is really strong against DDD. I do like this inhale strategy though, uh, that Cleo's implying, or uh, employing. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But also the way that Tony is not afraid to fight from the below the stage, like you can tell even when he tried to land on the ledge, that like, he went for an upright just to fight out Kalido before Kalido could get a downer of some sorts. So he knows, like, he, yes, King Deity has ways to just be off the stage against him with his multiple jumps, but Tony Pajama still has tools to even fight him for that one, too, because Ness has a really good area of oh. Wow, no, he just burned on that one. Okay, fire to forward air, nice, and he takes his man across the stage with a corner carry and the up air, looking for another one, too, looking to see if Kalito's gonna try oh, to land goodness. on that one. So much damage. Back throw again. Except let's trap another opportunity. Cleo's is struggling to get to the ground without taking so much percent, but he's so big. That's his big boxes cover so much space. Oh, oh yeah, for oh. air. Oh, he takes himself out. <laughs> no. no. Two SDs. It's not looking good for Cleo. And that's the thing, like he has to go for plays like that, like those deep four airs to cover Ness's uh, recovery. But dude, he's like putting himself in a bad spot just to do that. Yeah, and effectively it's really rough for Kalido, like being down a whole spot. Tony Pajama is pretty much on the verge of setting himself up for a reset. That's going to be a parry to the back throw. And wow, oh, he jumped into the blast zone. Oh, that's no. the thing about you got to be careful too, is when you jump or go for directional air dodges, you only have, like, you might unessentially move your hurt box into the blast zone and you'll die, especially if you're going for jumps or an area where your hurt box shifts towards the blast zone. So you have to really watch out. And just like that, man, Tony Pajamas has pretty much put himself on the set point to get the reset. And Kalito, man, not having a good time here so far in winning grand finals. Yeah, it's kind of rough. He should not go PS2 anymore. <laughs> My word of advice. I don't, I never like fighting Ness on PS2 to begin with. But especially since Tony's already won the stage twice, he, he needs to change up something. And I don't think Kalito plays another character. <laughs> uh, yeah, Tony Pajamas definitely. Uh, who do you mean now, Strides? Um, I use Snake. a lot of characters. He is a lot. I think it's like Snake, Marth, Joker. I think those are like the characters I've seen you play the most. I play a lot of characters. Snake, Marth, Joker. I'm telling everybody Snake, Marth, Joker. Those are the characters I've played against the most. Uh, it's on my stream. Yeah, I, love characters I, play. I feel like you play a lot of characters for sure, better than I can. <laughs> but Snake and Mark Joker is a character that you play well. Uh, we can talk anyway, about strides. Yeah, let's anyway, go let's, we need to figure out how Cleo is going to get a game on the board here. Especially since he's opted to go back to PS2. So far, so good. Oh, nice Nair from Tony, though. Really paying attention to that Goro. Oh, I'm the cross up on the Nair, too, to get up behind Kalido. Okay, inhale. Yeah, I did like when uh, Kalito was mainly using the Gordos at an angle so he can like absorb it with his inhale and just kind of throw, it, throw that nest that way. Oh my god, the grab timing is so good. Using the grab armor to get through the PK flash. Oh, that was good. Okay. The down flash too, just to try to read anything on Tony. Oh, Forward okay. air, no. Barely. 
Okay, yeah, you went high. Yeah. That's a back throw that's not gonna kill just yet. Yeah. Don't. No, okay, see, okay. You know, even though he didn't die, he still jumped, and kalito has gotta get rid of that habit. Yeah, he actually almost killed himself. Yeah, so that's a bad habit to have, especially if you're gonna if you killed yourself the last time. You might have saved yourself once, but. Oh wow. Oh no, he didn't get the kill. He only got the parry. And there's the up tilt. Good on pajamas to go for up smash just because he would have covered Kalito going for a jump too. Back air? Yeah. And that's a good cross up on the inhale. Tony setting us up to the left. That's the yoga. Oh, no, nice up there. Yeah, that was good. Really good idea. I think if he just did raw at B, he would have got tagged by that. Okay, caught the jump. Oh, yeah, no. Nowhere to, he had nowhere to go. He had nowhere to go with no double jump. Yeah. That was just really good for Kalito. Nice, and he bought himself a little bit towards center stage. A little too aggressive though in the down tilts. I think at that point, Kalito just should have taken stage control, oh. but... No, yeah, he's okay, kind of... He's, he's kind of no, locked. Yeah, he, he's he can't locked. do anything. He's locked there. He's definitely he locked. He can't do anything. He's already used one too many jumps, and he hasn't even touched the ledge yet. So he's kind of locked into that up B, unfortunately. Nice. Up Gordo is up there so much percent. Another Gordo. Tony in a rough spot right now. Trying to fight his way out of the corner. He's going to get... A Decent combo here, I would say. Oh, dang, the Gordo went through the up B without even getting sent back. That's really good for Kalito. And now he has all the stage control. Great pivot guard on the landing. Kind of greedy with the dash attack, but really, really hugely. Yeah, he just doesn't even care. He's like, I I'm just going to throw this up smash out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and just like that, Kalito, man, kind of slowly putting himself a point on the board. He's not out of it just yet. You kind of have to give him credit. Like we said last time, Kalito has gotten himself in the grand finals winner side for a reason, and you know he's not going to go down without a fight. So finally able to put one here with a small breather. Yeah, uh, I'm uh, really impressed, especially since he just opted to go back to PS2 again. Yeah. Honestly, I don't know. He just kind of worked with the lead he had, continued to just really apply the pressure, force Tony to make some bad spots off stage to recover, and uh, really just capitalized on those spots a lot more than he was able to in the previous games. So we're back on PS2 again. This might be an all PS2 set. I don't know. Really good nest stage. Um, not surprised to see Tony just go right back here. <laughs> Definitely. And of course, we'll see how... Tony can maybe bring this on into a reset or will be Kalito pushing game five. We'll see. I mean, last one was a good one for Kalito. If you can play how he played it the last time, definitely be much better. And I think someone in the chat says, yeah, he does better when he baits over extensions from Tony. Because there are some times you will see Ness go for something like a forward or at ledge when you kind of have hold more stage control. But it all depends on how you're guarding and how the Ness will use, opt to use that option for like a cross up. Or just to have an aerial to fight you against. Oh, oh man. All that setup yeah. too, because the Gordo covered the, yep. the stage, and then the forward smash covers the jump and any roll. Yep. Oh, just a lot of uh, coverage on the ledge. Okay, Tony's going super low and gets the four tower out. Yeah, and really the nice stage check this time. Okay. Tony hitting that Gordo right back in his face. Oh, but he sneaks in the up tilt. Trying to cover the landing with another Gordo. Tony's playing around that really well so far. Ooh. Oh man, barely gets past that nest aerial. Tony going super low, but no dash attack. But in the back air, wow. Caught the neutral get up, jeez. It's gonna be a fourth throw from Tony Pajamas just trying to get some opportunity here. Oh, yeah. it's so hard to get past that. Yeah, that yo-yo. He, I liked his idea earlier with the striking up air to get past it. But I don't think he had enough jumps to cover that. Yeah, and that's the thing about the uh, Kalito. He's got to watch him in his jumps, because if he uses one too many, then he might have to just be forced to go to Ubi, and that will take care of so much. That's a back throw, set of Gordo there. I'm looking for the... Yeah, I was going to say, because he sees Tony's above him, so he could definitely go for an upper at that point. <coughs> Especially with the fact that Gordo has covered so much. Just facing right now from Kalito. Oh, I don't know about that air dodge or that roll. Okay, didn't get the sweet spot, but that's a lot of percent. Nice, you get the up air through the down smash again. Trying to cover this landings, man. Tony's going through all these hitboxes, just barely avoiding DV. But big down smash. Another chance here at the ledge. Oh, oh that would have been so barely, close. Barely missed Barely. Me. Barely outside of range. Good for Tony to still go for the inhale there because he covers PK fire He'll cover the back air because he'll be able to inhale Ness and then he'll cover the PK thunder if he tries to guard him from there So that's a really good way for Kalito to slowly come back Neutral air but no cross up until Tony still holds on the though. stage and that big back air the Gordo okay. for the setup here 
Where's Tony gonna go though? He has a lot of things to deal with at the ledge. No invincibility here. Yeah, once again the Gordo setup, yeah, and that takes Dang. up the stock. And, Raw Gordo. Know, Raw Gordo is just enough. And it's good too because the way he has Gordo potentially will force Tony to go for a jump get up and then essentially Kalido can just read that. Good up air, but he has to go for the up B. Yeah, and this nice. time, oh yeah, the yeah, armor finally man. comes out. That's fine. Okay. No, oh, no, yeah, too big. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> way too, too big. big. Any other character, you might have been surviving that, but yeah, you're too big on King BDD. Oh, okay. Force throw at the ledge again. Oh, nice PK fire. Taking a lot of percent at the ledge. Tony gets oh. the sweet spot for smash. It's still not enough. DD. 107. Yeah, this is this is this might be a dead penguin. Oh no, he's still living the armor. Hold on. Coming through. This is a chance. Oh, bad backer from uh, Cleto. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's a yeah. that's a that's a dead penguin. I'm sorry. The minute I saw him go a little bit too low in the middle of the Gordo toss, that gave Tony Pajamas the reset. He was definitely looking for, and just like that, ladies and gentlemen, Tony Pajamas has gotten the reset against Epic Kalito, both making this grand finals to a possibility. And of course, definitely still in the money for Tony Pajamas, as he wasn't going to go down without a fight, of course. Yeah. Even in loser's side, one of the, the first seed. Yeah, Tony is the first seed in this uh, event, so for him to get the reset here, really good look for him. All right, set two. Mm, I feel like Lito is starting to figure it out a little bit towards the end. He just, man, he's really struggling to get past that uh, that yo-yo. <laughs> that down smash is really rough for GD. Yeah. Honestly, he's just taking too much damage off stage, just trying to get back to ledge. I'm not gonna lie, like, he's getting hit by PK fire repeatedly, up B, then if he finally gets past all that, he gets hit by the yo-yo. Like, <laughs> Pretty much. I think mean, towards the end, he took like 70 plus percent just from being off stage. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Tony doesn't even care about him inhaling the Gordo. He's just still reflecting it back at the UV. Okay, big up smash. So, no, Kalito actually has been getting some really good anti airs on Tony because, you know, the Ness loves to jump in with aerials. If you can get like more of those, <laughs> definitely help smash. them out. Anti-air up smash is working out really well. Up air, not enough to kill from that far away. But yeah, you, honestly, throwing out the up air I led is probably his best way to get back to the stage. Trying to find the up so finds the jump read though. Okay, first stock going to Kalito. Yeah, 127, Tony looking for this back air. But not able to get anything on Kalido. Kalido with the Gordo there just to finally find himself towards center stage. Not finding the opportunity. You see two rolls come out just because he's weary of himself here. Oh, but Tony Kalido finally gets that stock, yeah. Jumping in the blast zone yet again. <laughs> Might have been able to live otherwise. Once again, the Gordo setups here are really strong, but you can tell that the distance between Ness and that hammer is pretty far. So a PK fire is nice to come coverage. Out, but the Gordo is still active. Yep. Man. Gordo is so good at the ledge for situations like that. Yeah. Okay. Nice Nair. Oh man, dude, he was so dead to that. <laughs> is, even with good DI, you're gonna die to that up there like that. Great stuff for Kalito. Let's see if he can able to build the momentum that he's uh, established for himself right now. Or he really just wants to destroy the nest off stage. Like, just, please give me that double jump. <laughs> okay. Tony's still fighting back here though. Calls out the double jump, still living, just barely. How's he gonna get back? Okay. Oh, that's, he, yeah, yeah, that's good, that's good. I yeah. was gonna say, he could've up smashed that, but the way that Tony had looked to avoid the landing hitbox. Yeah, box, really smart. Little, yeah, well played. But I still like that from Kalito to not even Risk getting hit by the down smash. Just go on stage with the up B. A lot of percent here, though. Oh, wow. Was able to still find a spot dodge. I'm surprised. Okay. No, yeah. He nice had snap. the invincibility there. Yep. Good forward out of the shield. Tony, nice patience to the holding center stage, knowing that Kalito has to fight for it. 
cross up here on the back air. No opportunities just yet. Yeah, watch the shield. Nice. Good parry, but this gives Khalid the grab. Oh. Dash attack has a lot of commitment at the ledge, but it would have definitely put Tony to some tough spot. Yeah. Okay, Tony looking to set up this back air. Probably a down air. No down smash just yet. Back air one more time. Not not the mark here. Nice but punch. Air. Tony on the setup here. Waiting for the opportunity. Fake out with his with any of the aerials. No forward tilt, no up air, nice. only the back air, other side of the stage. Tony he's looking for the option, but it's slowly escaping Kal Oh no, Kalido, Kalido. You have to give him credit, because that forward air, if he had hit Ness, that would have given him time to come back on the stage. The problem is that he missed. He burns a jump and then he puts himself back into the same spot where Tony has been winning. You burn a jump, lose a jump, you have to commit to up B. And then that down smash just takes care of everything. Yep. Very little he could do to avoid that it's with, uh, without the cushion of the extra jumps. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe Carlos? I, I don't know. It seems at this point, Kalito is just committed to staying Pokemon Stadium no matter what. Yeah. I just... I don't know. Maybe Kalos is banned. I just would like a stage where he have more mix-ups to get to the, the stage. Right. Oh my goodness, so much damage. Yeah, something I also see from uh, Kalito, he doesn't always use the Gordo in the like, intention of actually hitting, but uh, just to like force Tony and shield and he can like sneak in a grab, throw him off stage, sorry, set the ledge trap. Oh! What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> anyway. On to grand finals still. Oh, what? That's a big up air. Do you know that that combo's like that? Do you know that that combo's like that? Oh my god, he just yeah, got hit by the most hit. telegraphed up B of all time. <laughs> Unfortunate. But damn, like the the inhale, like the inhale to PK Thunder, like literally went like the perfect angle towards DDD to combo in upper. I didn't even know that that worked like that. Also, a huge Gordo combo, by the way. I think Gordo, like, I think his both hits is like 20 plus. And then he comboed that into like a back air, it was like 40%. Yeah, that's a back air. Oh, and oh. neutral off the platform, too. Oh, I almost got the tech chase. Tony, yeah. Oh, good, Tony, we talked dude, about he's how really that can... watching the Gordos here. Uh, yeah, because you can send them back, and it's so useful just to send them back and not have to worry about dealing with them in terms of pressure. They're only really good against Tony a lot of times at the ledge. So, a little recovery here from Tony. He's going to be able to get under the stage. Good arrow drift for the direction of the dodge. We talked about how Ness is nice. so good with that. There is a back air. Kalito with the setup, looking for this forward nice. air, and in the middle of trying to fight back. No, he can come back. Okay, I was going to say. He just has, to, he just has to go into a free fall, yeah. Okay. Big punishes here from Kalito. Yep. Nice inhale. Actually, I like the idea from Tony to... Uh, Absorb the reflected PK fire for a little bit of a heal. Still taking a lot of punishment though. Oh man, he really wants to call through the dash in from Tony with that pivot grab. Oh, that's no, that was snap in time, but unsafe get up attack. Is that forward tilt too? Yeah, Ness is forward tilt uh, kills. Oh my goodness, PK fire combos. And the Thunder too, just to stop the, probably the Gordo and of course yep. Kalito at the same time. Forward air missing here. Kalito is slowly working on this 1 1. Kalito swing literally every hitbox he knows on his controller. Every button's being pressed. I don't know what that inhale though. Okay. He has a good lead, but he can't play super unsafe against Tony. Like we already seen it, just, all it does is. All it takes is for Tony to hit him off stage and get that, that, that down smash. Yeah, and the way that Tony is also cautious around oh. Kalito with the inhales too. He's been knowing that Kalito will move after a Gordo, go for an inhale just to send it back, but it's Tony that kind of understands all the way now. So even then he's oh, cautious. Nice. Mm -hmm. Wow. Nice, nice. Yeah, I Tony, did see yeah, Tony, Tony try to hit it back, but he didn't do it in time. He, he actually just traded. Uh, good stuff though to Kalito, not choking that. <laughs> He had a really huge lead. He almost dropped it. 
Yeah. Tough spot, man. Tony would have been 2-1 here, but Kalito still definitely fighting for his life. I mean, you have to give him credit, man. There's a reason why he's in grand finals. He's no slouch. So, of course, one win apiece here, game three. Really important game between these two, just because, you know, you, you get the set point, you know, all the bands and things like that, but it's also something that you can pressure your opponent against mentally. I think, it, I think with this set, though, the fact that they're just continuously playing on PS2, I think they're just both pretty comfortable in the match at this point. Yeah, uh, and honestly, I think the longer, when I think about specifically Kalido, the longer the match runs, the better for Kalido, because he has more time to adapt to Tony Pajamas' option, and especially how we saw the Gordo and Hale were kind of go down. Like, eventually, that's it's going to catch up. The more, I feel like... Sometimes the more aggressive you are against King Deity and not letting him breathe and go for Gordo, the, the much of harder time he has. But I still like that Tony even takes time to go for cross -ups. That's going to be a good pummel back throw. Wow, barely. I want to sit down yeah. in the DI, possibly? Don't oh, yet. Oh, dang, no. No punish. That's unfortunate. I thought that was easy follow-up for Kalido after getting that PK fire. Oh, my God. He got completely... Destroyed, dude. It's only, it's, only combo. Been, it's only been a minute, and I talked about how like, oh the longer the, line, the time in the match lasts, the worse it gets for you, especially against King Diddy. The more, the faster you oppress him, the better. Completely bodied. Momentum firmly in Tony's hands. Uh, and he just has all the tools to just get this three stock. I, I, don't, I don't know what Cleo's gonna do. <laughs> this looks really bad. No cross up. That's a good fake out because you can see that Tony just went from one oh. platform to the other. That's a Goro Sinbad great DI though. Low recovery. Wow, the Goro narrowly missing it. He's got the new. Uh, okay, that was scary. That was scary. I almost thought he didn't get it there. Yeah, it's a, it's a two frame opportunity if you're really good at timing it, but it's not guaranteed. He does get the up tilt, but yeah, it's going to take a lot. Great parry from Tony. Oh my goodness. I like the upbeat uh, setup though. If he caught uh, Khalil slipping again, definitely would have been worth. Killer, right. looking for the line again. Down smash. Yeah, okay, yeah, he's gonna up air through it this time. He still, he still saved the jump, so he can so get he past. He still it. has a stage two. That's a back throw. Not Ooh. the stock just yet, but he's got stage control here. Back That's throw again. Back throw. <laughs> Even if they don't kill, just holding stage control right now against King Diddy is really good. The way they saw nice. yeah. PK fire to the back air, 166. Tony Pajamas with the ton here, pushing. In four into a, into a possibility now, and of course, set point for Tony at the same time. Please, Kalito, I'm begging, pick a different stage. Stop letting Ness play on stadium, bro. One of his best stages. I was gonna say, man, some players just keep gentlemen in PS2, and I just tell people that's the worst thing that you can do for yourself. You want stage. Oh, it's you over. Want, it's yeah, you, it's yeah, over. it's over. <laughs> you, you want, want stage count? What are the stage counter picks? There's a reason why that's a rule, man. Can you imagine we just played this game exclusively on one stage all the time? No, it'd be terrible for all the characters. I just don't get it either, because, like, you know how sometimes people look gentlemen in the PS2 because both of your characters are good on the stage? Yeah. It's not even. The same story for him. <laughs> you're just picking stages better for him. Yeah, you're pretty much giving your opponent like an extra boost. And it's just like, would you rather have them have a less boost or an extra boost? Like, how would you want to make things harder for you, man? All right, let's see, let's see. We don't, know, know, we don't know something we don't. We don't know something we don't. Yeah, I guess. He's in grand finals. All right, Gregorio. Tony going for the cheeky up Bs. Might cost him though. Nice. Yeah. Oh wow, he called out that inhale too? Dang. Yeah, uh Kalito's going for some really unsafe backers. Tony's starting to punish it. There's a forward air. Nice. Nice direction air dodge around the stage here. 111. Tony's definitely on a good lead. Gets the roll against the forward smash. That's good too because you know that Kalito wanted to call it like a forward air or a PK fire or a PK thunder. And that would have been good to punish that. But this time Tony makes it up with a landing instead. He won for a roll. Okay, finds the backer. Uh, 56 isn't so bad as DDD. He can make that up pretty quickly. Forward air, PK Thunder, okay. 
Another one? And Kalito, another one too. This is rough. He just wants to force the down smash. Yeah, he did. And it's look at how it pays off. Yeah, and he used the direction. Yeah, he can't come back. He can't come back. Yeah. Brilliant edge guard from Tony. Zero to death, pretty much. Look, he read the textbook. He knew the homework was due. He understood oh, the assignment. Oh, big there. combo. Look at this corner carry across the stage two. Another one. Just the Texas on the platform. A lot of shield pressure. Kalito looking like he's on his last legs here, man. Tony is just... What? Look at them. Tony's just toying with him right now. <laughs> he waited too so he could get the back throw and send him off the stage. Tony going for another zero to death. Oh, okay, yes, yeah. okay. Off stage. Yeah, good, good from Tony not to panic, just to find, trying to find a way to land. Down tilt. Yeah, the dash attack would have definitely put Tony in like a really rough spot or to get stuck altogether. Oh, Kalito desperately wanted that deep no, back Kalito, air. I was going to say, you got to okay. watch yourself, Kalito, because if you're going way too low, you oh. know how Tony's going to get you. Oh. No, this is a nut smash. I'm out of the stock here. And unfortunately oh. for Ampa Kalito, he thought he had the roll read. I I hope that was a roll read and not a miss input. <laughs> uh, yeah, it would have been terrible to see him miss input to inhale the ghost of Pokemon Stadium 2.